Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Once again, just like my Lucas Piquetta one about a month ago, now we're going to dedicate this video to one player. Newcastle's incoming summer signings, and this creates quite a likely potential one coming in. Sven Botman, a player that Newcastle wanted in January. It's going to help also identify Newcastle's long-term plans for the club. I think this is a really good sort of case study we can talk about. I'm going to talk about what it means for the club, how you actually get into the squad, and just also... Newcastle going forward, I think this is a sign that Newcastle will give 100% over in the summer. I really feel like we can do it. At this moment of time, with AC Milan, they've got all sorts of problems with the takeover. So I think Newcastle can honestly get it in the bag, to be honest. But as always, guys, you're new to the channel. Make sure to head down there, hit that subscribe button. We are just short of 300 away now from 25,000. So thank you so much. So make sure I get down there. It keeps you guys updated with all the videos on the channel. As well as that, you can smash the like button and finally... Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts. One more thing, actually a bit off topic. I will be at John Cook's testimonial tomorrow at South Shields. So if you guys see me there, make sure to come over and say hello. I'm looking forward to vlogging that game. Sunderland versus Newcastle Legends match. It's going to be quite good. But anyway, though, enough about that. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. We're going to begin off by talking about the future of Newcastle's current centre-halves now. Dan Burns, so this is actually Botman's replacement. We couldn't get Botman in January on time, so we got with Dan Burns instead. Exceptional player, Newcastle through and through, 11 years old, he was turned down from Newcastle because he was deemed not good enough. All these years later, he came back around and he proved them wrong. He came in that squad, he is without a doubt our best centre-half at the club and he will start every single match next season. Fabian Shaw now, I wasn't the biggest fan of him at the start of the season but ever since Eddie Howe came in, once again with so many other players, he improved massively and for me again. Being exceptional, so be those two at the minute. And of course, he got a contract renewal as well. So, well done at the show on that. Jamal LaSalle, I expect to stay. He will no longer be the captain, I don't think, because he's just not going to start matches. But he will stay. I think he has improved a little bit since Eddie Howes came in. And for me, yeah, I think he'd be all right on the bench. Now, the rest of them. Paul Dummett, our class more as a left back, but he signed a one year contract renewal. Kieran Clark will 100% be so. Just goodbye, Clark. Thank you for your services, but goodbye. The correct decision will be made and he will be so. Finally, Fernandez, I think, will also be so. Newcastle just, for whatever reason, just don't seem to want him at the club. Especially in the Graham Jones' time as a manager, he just never wanted to have him in the bench, never mind the start 11. So, yeah, I think we're so Fernandez as well, but it's up to you guys if you agree with that or not. Let's begin to talk about Botman now. So, his season league on this year, he finished 10th in the league now. I'm not a French League expert, but I think that's quite an average to poor season for them. Just based on the teams above them, I think they're better than some of the teams there, really. So, I don't know, I haven't watched them week in, week out, but that does look like a kind of a bad season for them. Miles off in European football. We already know that Botman is leaving the club 100% this summer. The club's got no saying anymore. The player has said he will leave. So, Newcastle and AC Milan are the only two teams that are properly trying to get them at the minute. Newcastle put in several transfer offers for them. The problem we had in the January transfer window is that the club was constantly up in the price. So when Newcastle put 30 million, they wanted 35. So when you put 35 in, they wanted 40. They were just taking the absolute mick out of us. So Newcastle just straight up said no. We tried to get Diego Carlos instead. Then we had enough of him as well. We ended up getting Dan Burn the end. We haven't tried to get Diego Carlos in this window. And the evidence to prove for that is that he went to Aston Villa straight away. If Newcastle wanted him, there would have been more competition there. He just went to Aston Villa straight away. So for me, Newcastle have never wanted Diego Carlos in this window. So it goes down to Botman now. Now, it was proven yesterday from multiple journalists that Newcastle still wants him 100%. They're going back in for him. And as I said before, I think they've got a really good chance of doing it. So his actual market value as well, he's one of the most high-value players at the club with Jonathan David being the only exception really with Renato Sanchez drawn with him. So he is valued as one of their best players, their best defender for a mile. And Newcastle... We need an R sent off. There's absolutely no doubt about it. We get into a long term projection shortly, but he's an important one. He's one that I do think Newcastle will get done. We'll talk about Amanda Stabley and Murdoch Udice's connections to Sven Botman now because I think it's quite important for our chances to get him in the summer window. I think it's really going to play into our favour. So we already know from Amanda Stabley herself because she admitted to media that Sven Botman actually wanted to join Newcastle. She straight up admitted it to him. And Jesse Lingard, both of those wanted to join the club in January, but they were unable to get both of them done for club reasons. The fact that she's that, been that open about it, I think, is uh, quite important as well. Mirga did you see only followers, about 42 people on Instagram. Sven Botman is one of those people. And I know a fact for you. 
Swim Botman is the only football player on there that doesn't play for Newcastle United that he actually follows. So take that into consideration. That's not me leaking anything. As always, that is public information that you guys can see for yourself. But yes, I think they have been speaking in the DMs. Uh, I can't show you the picture of anybody, but I remember Swim Botman actually liked a, an Instagram photo of someone editing him wearing well Newcastle shirt. So he was straight up flirting with Newcastle fans. In that January transfer window, he was making it extremely clear to the fan base that he wanted to join. And I don't think his mind's changed now. He wanted to join us, bearing in mind, when we were 19th in the league at the time, inside the bottom three. Our future was uncertain. We had promises for the future, but we couldn't deliver them. Well, we could try to, but we had no guarantee. Now that we stayed up, and not only did we stay up, we finished 11th, quite a comfortable survival in the Premier League. It's only going to fuel the fire more. We did exactly what we said we were going to do. We want this football club. And I, listen, just think about it. You cast the projections in the next few seasons' time. You've seen players like Trippier and Bruno talk about challenging for the Premier League title. It's just mad. Behind the scenes, a man the stage will honestly be telling them that they want to win titles. They want to win silverware. You couldn't imagine you cast it wanting these things. But um, the reason why you don't see much of this in the media, because I don't think she wants to let any fans down, but I think she really will... Fire those players up. She will tell those players that she wants Champions League Europe or the Premier League titles. She will just want everything. And behind the scenes, I really do feel like the projections are just ridiculously high. Like, just borderline ludicrous. But you know from the women's team as well, like in 2027, she wants to win the Champions League or wants to be in the Champions League, sorry. That means we've got to get promoted three times and finish, I think it was first or second in the Premier League. So, again, that's just always ludicrous. So, that's for the women's team. Imagine what the men's team is going to be like. So, yes, the projections are extremely high. Swim Botman, a long-term target for Newcastle. And we'll explain why this long-term target can also be applied elsewhere. The long-term planning for Newcastle United so far has been exceptional. Now, with Eddie Howe, admittedly, yes, we tried to get Unai Emery in just before Eddie Howe. But Eddie Howe was saying in these press conferences how Amanda Steele was speaking to him months before the takeover even happened. They had these clear plans, these envisions in their head. They were just wanting this stuff to happen. And they're just playing their game nice and slowly. They're, they're playing their pieces and just knowing that they're not wanting someone to join straight where they want to just play their, play their cards right and try and create a relationship, a good relationship with the players or managers first. And I think it's going to be huge going forward. We've seen it work for Eddie Howe. It could potentially work for Sven Botman, yeah. Imagine for a couple of years' time, five years' time, these long-term plans, these little... Little tweaks had put in place. Dan Ashford, he's going to be announced sometime next week. The plans he has for Newcastle. I mean, there's going to be so much work getting done. And it's only going to benefit Newcastle more and more. No longer are we making desperate last-minute signs or trying to loan Joe Willick in at last minute. Which, to be fair, is in a class job. But it was a desperate sign done in just to please the fans. No more this desperation. No more of this... This shock way of running the club. Just buying players and selling them for more. No more of this crap. It's all gone now. It's all went with the previous owner. And now we have people in that want what's best for this club, want what's best for this fans, and we won't take them for granted. The owners know exactly what they want. They want to be the best football club in the world. They said so themselves. Now, admittedly, I don't think Newcastle will be the best club in world football. Maybe one day. But hell, just even being in consideration for someone like that is mad. So we take it one step at a time. I think next season, our league projections will be honestly to get a conference league spot. I think a lot of fans claim it's going to be getting a top 10 spot, but I think it will be a conference league to target. I don't think we're going to get it, but I just think our target next season will be to get that. And the cast's long-term plan, which has been proved here with Sven Botman, we continue to do and it's continuing to really make an impact in the transfer market and in the club. Anyway, guys, we're going to finish things off there. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Now, I don't want you to go away from this video and just go that Botman's 100% saying that is not the point in this video at all. I think it's quite likely that he will sign based on the fact that we heavily wanted them in January. There's no other teams apart from AC Milan competing for him. Bear in mind, Paolo Maldini yesterday also admitted that he's looking for our targets. So I really do feel like he's just letting this one go away. Um, I'm not I'm not saying it's 100% done. I'm confident we can get it done. But I'm not saying for any means whatsoever that this is a done deal because it's not. But anyway, though, I hope you enjoy watching. What do you think about Botman as a player? I haven't watched him week in, week out, but what I heard, he is a really good centre-half. I remember, I have seen him against PSG, which, to be fair, Messi is destroying, but, I mean, Messi destroys everyone, so I'm not really concerned from that one. But other than that, though, I've never watched him. Uh, but anyway, though, I thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate your support, as always. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, guys. 
And yeah, as I said before, I see he's down in South Shoes tomorrow. The Castle Legends could be beat Sunderland. I'll be honest, I think Sunderland are probably going to win. Uh, I, think you can't, I think they've got a better team on paper. But anyway, though, take care, guys. Have a good day now. So, on the next one.